days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I have a testimony for that as well. Come on, that gives it. When, when, uh, when, when I uh, had congestive heart failure, oh, and uh, and uh, when I was attacked with oh, congestive heart failure, yes, sir. Let me correct myself. Amen. And uh, I went to go see uh, my cardiologist uh -huh. when I was out of the hospital, uh -huh. and he explained to me well, what happened. He said you had the widow maker. And one out of four lived the actual experience. Yes, sir. And one in five lived 30 days after. And, and when he said that, I didn't plan on saying it or anything. I see you in 30 days came out of my mouth <laughs> without even thinking about it. But, but uh, when I got home, the enemy started attacking my mind. And it got to the point to where I became fearful to even go to sleep thinking I may not wake up. Come on, man. Come on. And a few days went by and I'm about to lose my mind sitting there. You got tired of the sleep, didn't you? And I know. You didn't go to sleep? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> I heard the spirit say, why are you worried? Tomorrow was never promised anyway. Ain't that something? And I went boom straight to sleep, yeah. and 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 had a peace. From the, I mean, it was like, what? Why? Why am I carrying this bird? Yeah, I'm just go ahead. You know, I'm. I'm I'm already an eternal being. Yes. And if I'm living this day, why am I worried about tomorrow? I like that. That need to be part of the beginning of my video. <laughs> so, so that was that was and and I mean I slept very well. Wow. And uh and look, this was in 07. And I'm still here. Amen. And you know, like the, you know, all it's saying is that daily is more important than trying to worry about tomorrow. Yeah. The but I, I will say this. <laughs> because I was on my deathbed, me and God was like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? You know, right? Did you do some praise or anything? Let me tell you something. Nothing mattered okay. but my relationship died. I mean, uh 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 let me tell you when you're when you're on your deathbed, there is a clarity that you have and there is a a focus that that you have to where I mean I was in the word almost all day all night I was in, in, in communication with God that's all that matter that's all that matter my whole life changed because of that that one moment God used my deathbed to put me in the position that I am I mean before that I was I was working I was going Ooh, I was doing uh, civic activities. You know, I was doing everything to elevate my life in a, a physical aspect. And during that time, God spoke to me. He said, you're supposed to live your life. Got out of the military, dropped out of those, those class, classes and then nothing. I need three classes to get my degree still haven't taken it that meant nothing to me uh uh the only thing mattered was god's word my relationship with god and 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 
and doing the work of the ministry. And my life had changed and, and the revelation of God's word just started flowing and my eyes just were, were enlightened. And I began to know the death. What did Paul say? <laughs> uh, 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 of all that God had given me in the redemptive work, you know, and, and it just blew me away. Wow. And, and, and I just been been moving from, like you said, from faith to faith every day, ever since. Yeah, it made a difference, it made a big difference in it. It made a difference, man. That relationship with, when, 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 man, if, if I, I pray people don't have to go through what I went through to understand the importance, the, the, the priority that should be put on a relationship, building that relationship with God. I mean, I heard it all my life, you know, coming up in that, that Kojic church, you know, God loves you. You, you gotta, you gotta, you know, have, you gotta love God. And like, how can I build a love for God? You know, it's, it's, it's you know, I always knew it, it required a give and take. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And man, did I get that. You know, I had it prior to, but man, nothing like, nothing like when I, after I got up off that deathbed, I mean, it was like, man, it was like the voice was just so audible to me, yeah. so clear, you know, and, and, and the focus I had. And, and and the word just became so living to me. You know what I'm saying? And then all those sayings that were were like almost like cliches that we have, they just meant so much because they were a reality yeah, in really. my life. Yeah. You know that 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 is a what you said is what's happening with me now as far as the word itself is concerned. And, different circumstances, situations during the course of the day. I literally am praying my way through health issues. Mm -hmm. They're coming. I mean, I mean, literally speaking, I'm confronted with them. Yeah. And when it comes, I just start speaking the word. Whatever word addresses that issue, the word that I start to speak, and that manifests. Exactly. It, manif it, it shows up. The cliches yeah. that I thought about before. Yeah. Oh, and I thought it was just the word people just throw out there sound like. Yeah. But they're starting to they're starting to manifest. Yeah. They, they, there's a purpose for there's a purpose behind them because there's a reality to it. There's a reality to it. I was talking. We had the last thing I had the other day was you know how when you get a congestive heart failure, you start getting a fever. Yeah. And your limbs start swelling up, your ankles and stuff are swelling. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at my limbs going like, man, that ain't good. And then something said, you need prayer about it. So I did. Yeah. So and I, and I, 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 I laid hands on my own body. <laughs> but but I woke let me up, tell you. I woke up the next day as they shrunk. Yeah. They shrunk. There, there, there's, this is what, <laughs> what, what God put on my heart. You already healed. That's right. So, so I begin to say, no, uh -uh. I'm already healed. Right. When I when I get the the rhythmic tachycardia and it feels like I'm having a heart attack and I'm almost on my way to the hospital, I'm like, uh, -uh I'm not going. I'm already here. What is that? Uh, I don't I don't receive this. Right. I'm healed. So so what I was looking at was well, your body is t is responding to different inputs, right? It, different things yeah. your body responds to. When I was in the flesh, my body only knew to respond to stuff that was of the flesh. Yeah. Now I'm having to retrain my brain to ignore the stuff that's coming from the flesh yes. and receive the messages that coming from the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it is a renewing process for real because yeah. things are happening and I can either go at what I'm feeling and get the anxiety, the, the fear, the elevated pressure, the elevated heart rate. Oh, yeah, the, the yeah. You, you actually start, start having a heart attack. A heart attack. Yeah, you do. Because you you start you you start hyperventilating you, you start panicking and the, the 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 enemy man it's just like fertile ground for him yep. he comes in and all these different things start popping in your mind I remember I used to be sitting I get in my car and drive straight to the hospital 
and and I was in there. It was almost every week after I, you know, had this initial congestive wow. heart failure, and and once you go in there, you check yourself in the emergency room. That's automatic, twenty four hours, automatic, because they got to run tests, and it takes twenty four hours to do those two enzyme tests. And so you're in there. And I mean, I was just constantly in there, constantly, constantly. And then I just got tired of being in there and then releasing and saying, you know, that was just rhythmic tachycardia, you know, because my heart was damaged and it would spasm instead of beat. Mm -hmm. And that's why they gave me the defibrillator pacemaker. Mm -hmm. But it got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm just going to come up here and I just, I would sit in the parking lot. Interesting. At, and at the emergency room and uh just staring in there seeing if 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 i could make and this is what's so stupid about it if i did have a heart attack i just died there in the car <laughs> at the hospital <laughs> you know <about> yourself. <laughs> but check this out it got to the point to where i was like you know what i am healed i'm already healed come on oh, body you, know, uh -uh. you get in line it's a reality to you yeah, yeah, and so it, 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 I don't need to go in. Now, there was a time, it, it was probably maybe a year ago, I was sitting in here and I was just sitting there. And uh, I started feeling a little uh, pressure in my chest and then got a little tight and then I started getting pain, went down my left arm. And I was like, man, that's a typical movie heart attack. And I was like, I told my friend, I said, man, you got to take me to the hospital because he was he was down there visiting. And we went in, went in there. Yeah. Nothing. Right. So that that was just another, uh, it was just a different type of attack of the enemy that I hadn't experienced before. But now I'm like, you know what? Uh-huh, because it happened again. Yeah. It's like, no, 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 uh-uh. Say you get on out of here. <laughs> right, I'm not going don't There's receive warfare going on in the spirit realm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It says the spirit that gives life to the body of the flesh profit nothing. The spirit yeah. that raised Jesus from the dead is alive you to quicken your mortal flesh. Right. He was sold to the spirit, the other spirit reap life, but he was sold to the flesh, the other flesh reap. So it's so much that God takes, it's so weird, man, that he takes our, he swear, he's changing our mindset. He's renewing yeah. our mind. Yeah. But our realities are going to be what he's saying. Just that's like right. that's and that's it. That's the real reality. That's the that's real it, reality. Elder. That's yep. it. When when, when when our nine, our mind is renewed, yep. the 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 physical body, the, the response that we used to have is no longer there because our mind has been rewired. There, there is a new source of information. Why? that you quickly flip over to when that attack comes and it's like oh no this can't be this can't be in this body on, <laughs> yeah. this body has been healed right. by god and if god says it's so it's so, it's so. so it's I'm getting in line. and and i mean i tell it i, I ain't playing you better get in line so other words, those are true so other words, we, we, those are huh no, I was about to say those are foundational truths. Yes. Our whole, our whole, our whole reality is based upon this man Jesus getting up on the grave, conquering death, and living even now. Now everything else comes up and off of that. What yeah. can he do if he can get if he can defeat death and get up, and he's still alive two thousand twenty some years later? What can he do? And it's him that all our belief factors are are, 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 are based on. His yeah. death, his resurrection, his ascension, his empowerment to us, his spirit living in us. Now we're getting a whole different set of rules and regulations coming through our minds that we didn't have access to before because we weren't born again. We weren't, yeah. we weren't, we weren't hooked up. But you or, can't kill me unless God lets you. Yeah, or we were born again, but we were still living based on... Carnal minded. We were, we were still carnal minded. Our habits ruled us. Yep. Uh, our... our uh, our, our, our lack of, of, of knowledge, people yep. perish, lack of knowledge. Uh, that, that was a part of it. Man, I, I tell you, it, it, I, just, 
give give God the glory oh, yeah. behind yeah. all that He's done, and just just knowing that we we actually probably have a better witness of Jesus Christ than the apostles that walked here and saw him fleshly getting tired, needing yeah. a bath, needing food. Man, we get we get the glorified Christ. Yeah, he's a pleasant And we know him intimacy, intimately. Right. You know, so man, what what oh my God. And I used to used to man if I was was around back when Jesus was around, man, with the power and authority, I'd be, man, I have a greater experience he did. than they have. Don't tell everybody that, man. Yep. That's a fact. I mean, but that's what he told Thomas, didn't he? Hey. He said, Thomas, you now believe. Blessed yeah. are those who have not seen. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, are, we are far better. And I think as the process goes to see that the, 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 the creation itself moans it groans for the the, the 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 revealing of the sons of God. The manifestations yeah. of the like, sons of God. Yeah. Yeah. Here, and we here we are. We're going into that room. Yeah. I mean, how powerful it and how centralized it was in your thoughts and your mind. Yeah. And if you can receive the things that Jesus has spoken, it Just is going to come to pass. I look, think I think the better word is what have you do? You, have you ever remembered these? birds are chirping the way they chirping now. Wow. Have you, I mean, they are so loud and vibrant now when they really weren't. And, and I'm, and this is just coming into my mind right now. The sons of God huh? are being revealed in us right now. Yeah. We are coming into our own yes, and the creation is jumping with joy. And that's why he said because it is manifesting. Yeah, and, and and one of the things that the manifestations of the yeah. sons of God is they live by faith. Yeah, by faith. That's faith. And, and like and you, yeah. you did, I think one of the things about the faith that you did was, and that and that the hard thing was, there's a point where you start resting. You said that that was a, I think, it was a real strong, powerful statement in the scriptures, but you read it. Rest in him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Cease Amen. our work. Elder. Rest Amen. in him. Yeah. See, when Whatever I'm resting, I'm receiving. Yeah. But when yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to do it in my own ability, hey. that's when the problem comes in. I, I, you, if I if I initiate it, it's mine. He rested. He went to sleep. Exactly. Now. That brother went this, to sleep. This is like, this is what I just got in my spirit. Just came. tomorrow is not promised. It's not promised, but eternity is. Yeah, yep. eternity yep. is. He always eternity promised. Is promised. He promised me. Yeah, he promised you a mansion. Man, that's something I'm gonna have to. I might have to get a T-shirt. Come on, brother. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because it's real. There's a shift about to take place. Yes. The, the, the truth. Do you know as many lies have been floating around lately? It's almost that the, the heads of state, the heads of the control of the governments in the world seem to be just lost their mind. They can't tell what's going Oh, man, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's and ridiculous. now God is beginning to establish his truth. And he's going to establish his truth through his sons. Yes, sir. His sons are going to manifest his glory in the earth. But that's, that's, that's the whole purpose of it. Yeah. That's now, the whole purpose. On a personal note, when they were doing the COVID thing, you know, and I, I needed to go sit down because the Lord told me to, so I did. <laughs> but, so I went ahead out like I wasn't supposed to. But then the Lord been laying on my heart later to say, you know what, COVID should be running from y'all. They should lay hands on the sick and they should recover. That's yep. a reality. That's not, that's not just, <laughs> that's not just a nice thought. But we cowering right now because we have not felt that push yet. But there's gonna be something that takes people ain't even stopping to pray for COVID patients right now. It ain't like we're getting it. It's like we're not even dealing with it. But God This is, is the thing. The the, the 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 it's right for their healing. They're right. keeping them from us. Right. Exactly. Now you're preaching. They're keeping them from us. You right. you can't even go in the hospital and pray for them because you can't go in the hospital. Yeah. We're gonna have to do one of the Peter thing where they pray to the dope fellow. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. And that's why, Lord, mm -hmm. I think close the doors of the church so we can revamp our programs. If yeah, you want to go to church, I'll get them to be Well, I think, I think the fact is that, like you said, you can pray from a distance. Just yeah. pray. Oh, yeah. Just believe it. Pray. You know? Uh, but it's, it's, I mean, hey, it's, 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 <clears throat> We're, we're we're speaking to each other and, and we're not even near each other. Amen, amen. But you, you know, can feel that. Uh, that I pray for oh, for oh, for a young lady yesterday over the phone who was in the hospital. Yes, and, and, I, and and to be completely honest with you, I don't think she's in the hospital anymore. I haven't, I haven't amen. heard. From her. Amen. But that's just how much I believe that's God's word. Faith. That's by faith. Faith. That's by faith. You see what I'm saying? And, yeah. then, and then you yeah. rest, and, and this business me that tied into it, you rest in. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The bar is not promised, so let me rest in him today. Look, we, we're in the Sabbath. Amen. Yeah. This is the Sabbath. That's what he's saying. To, to, rest. To, to, to allow, we rest and allow Jesus to do his work of his ministry. Come on, brother. I like, you know, he said we they couldn't enter into his rest because no. of unbelief. <clears throat> but by, by walking by faith, we can enter into his rest. You entered. I mean, there's your testimony. There's the point where he said, I ain't. He said, the mom's not promised. So now what you worried about? What you working on? What you trying to do? Yeah. Huh? Now focus on me. <laughs> Come on now. Rest in me now. Yeah. I already gave you eternal life. You already got eternal life. It's rest in me. Right? Yeah. And what, what, what's that yeah. what's to say? If you worry about your children, you said, I've seen it. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Begging, no, or begging, see, begging, 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 begging. Rest in me. Oh, rest. Hallelujah. <laughs> Tell me, you better pray. Uh, hey, hey. We're going to be here all night. It's already 10 I know, right? I know. I'm real. We rested. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Lord Jesus, I, man, I just thank you. Thank you, Tim, I really thank you, Father God. I thank you for having let me live this long. I thank you, Father God, for having called me to your service and called me out of darkness and just get my mind right. Because I believe a lot of lies. I believe a lot of lies even after I got saved. You already know that. I didn't know the way. Even when I was following the way, I didn't know where I was supposed to be going. But you're making it plainer and plainer. I, want, I, would, I really want to thank you this night for it. I want to Thank you, Pastor Taylor. And for my brother Myron, man, no prayer that he prayed. Amen. Thank you, Father God, that, that you laid it on his heart. And then for whatever part that he had in bringing us all together, I thank you for it, Lord Jesus. I thank you for a man who can hold his peace and let other folks speak their peace until the time he finds a convenient time to interject here. Amen. Helping us to stay on track. We thank you, uh, Pastor Taylor. We, Really appreciate your your, your ability to, to to just man just be a man of God, just yeah. be one, being a man of God. Now I have to prove you one, but amen. But that you come. I am by faith. Hallelujah. I, mean, <laughs> I thank you for the fellowship with you, brother, Lord God. Yes. yes. I, I thank you for letting the old man come down to his latter years and revive him, so he can take a piece of the Lord God, out there to do some work. We want to do some things on your behalf, Lord God. We tried in the past and we messed it up. Mm. And we didn't try in the past and we did that right. We, we was messed up. Yes. So we, we just thank you, Lord God, that you, you were just patient with us and just bringing us along the way. But Lord, now we want to be in the fight. I ain't lying. I mean, again, if we ask for this before, and Lord knows might not have been ready for it at that point, but Lord, I feel strengthened. I feel yes. strengthened. Now, lead us, lead and guide us by you. No, I don't send us I ain't gonna run out there by myself, Lord. I won't do that again, but I need I want to hear from you. And I want you to, I want you to use me, Lord. I want I'm like Paul said, what would you have me to do? Lord, what would you have me to do? And the same question my brothers got in their heart. That's why we will not be here tonight before you follow. We won't be asked, we won't be sitting and talking about you if we don't want to follow you. Yes. We want to follow you. We want to do those things that are of you. We want to manifest your glory in the earth, Lord Jesus. We want to prove to the, the, the creation itself that you rose from that grave to, over 2,000 some years ago. That even not speaking English, you spread your ministry 6,000 plus miles away and that you are alive this day. 
and yes, that God. your spirit dwells in us and that by your spirit you are leading and guiding us in the path you are by faith yes. leading us that you might be glorified in the earth and that Woo. other you operating in us and that they be drawn to you and receive eternal life even if we have received we yes. accept that eternal life God. and we yeah. thank you for teaching us what it's all about teaching us what salvation showing us your salvation showing us the healing showing us the, the, the deliverance showing us all that you Lord God, all that you've appropriated for us in the cross. Yes. Transform us into the end of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You manifest us, Lord God, as heirs and joint heirs with Woo! you, right? The sons of God, Lord Jesus. Woo! Sons on, of Captain. God. We thank you for that. We thank you, Father God, for just having counted the word. Just thank you, Lord. Now we can pour it all out before you now. It's just yours, Lord. These lives belong to you. Yes. Use them as you see fit. Strengthen us in your word, strengthen us in your spirit, strengthen us in you, Lord God, and let us go forth and witness to this world one more time before the end of this age. Let us be powerful in our deliverance, Lord God. Give us courage, give us strength, give us, Lord God, direction. Yes. Talk to us, Lord God, by your spirit, by your word, leading God us. And this I pray in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, and that, that all that we do be done to your glory and to the presence of your kingdom. And in his name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Elder, you, you, you reduce that coffin, folks.